Hello and welcome to JS2. So today we are going to see about JS and remote sensing model exit exams. So in this exam, we will uh, go through uh, JS and remote sensing uh, blueprint uh, model exam questions with their answers. These um, blueprint exam questions will help uh, geography and environmental students, JS and remote sensing students who will graduate uh, and Bachelor of Arts degree and Bachelor of Science degrees. Uh, so this will uh, greatly help to uh, score better results in their exit examinations. So now we are going directly go to the questions. So question number one, what are the special relationships in a database? A relationship between tables in a database, B, a relationship between special features based on their geometry, C a relationship between different versions of the two database. D a relationship between special data and non-special data. So first we are uh, going to understand what is the uh, database. So this uh, database is obviously a relationship. But what types of relationship in a special data in a special file is available is the main question. So the correct answer is relationship between special features. What is done their geometry? So is done their geometry. So correct answer is B. Number two, which of the following is not a common type of special relationships? So all are the common type of special relationships except one. So which one? A contains B overlaps. C links D within. So these are a topological relationship in a special relations. So this is a concept of topology, but uh, this a con this uh, concept of topology contains overlaps and within are uh, purely indicating special relationships. Uh, so the uh, links are not common types of special relationships. Question number three, what is topology in a, uh, in a geodatabase? A, the study of spatial patterns in data. B, the geographic extent of data set. C, the spatial relationship and the rules governing spatial features. D, the process of joining spatial data sets. So, this uh, topology is, as, as uh, I told you, it is a relationship. So it is a relationship governing special features, governing special features. So the correct answer is, it is the special relationship and rules governing special features. The correct answer is C. So uh, governing rules means within or overlaps as we have seen in the above questions. So the correct answer is C. Okay, great. Yeah. Question number four, what is a spatial join in a JS? A process of combining spatial features based on their location. B, a process of joining tables in a database. C, a process of visualizing special data on a map. D, a process of exporting special data to a different format. So we have to understand the question, it is a spatial join. So it is a spatial join means combining spatial features is doing what? Their location. their location. So the answer is A. The answer is A. Okay, great. Question number five. What are the two primary types of geodatabase in Idris ArcGIS software? A. File geodatabase and personal geodatabase. B. Enterprise geodatabase and special geodatabase. C. Cloud geodatabase and local geodatabase. Structure query languages, SQL geodatabase, and no SQL uh, language geodatabase. So, the primary types of geodatabase in ArcGIS software that we are, that we are uh, using in day to day life is file geodatabase, file geodatabase and personal geodatabase. So, the correct answer is A. Okay, great. Question number six Which type of geodatabase is, is suitable for? Single user desktop applications. Single user rather than multi user. Single user desktop applications, which do the database is very suitable. A enterprise do the database. B 
if I do the tabby, see personal duty tabbies, see cloud duty tabbies. So uh, in uh, single user uh, desktop applications, we, uh, the correct answer is file duty tabbies. In enterprise duty tabbies, there is a common user or, or in an organization or in enterprise we are uh, going to implement these enterprise duty types. These uh, enterprise uh, duty types. Okay, great. Question number seven. What is the key characteristics of personal duty types? Uh, it supports versioning and the replication. It sources as a single file on a local machine. See, it requires a central server for large uh, for data storage. It is accessible over the internet. So a characteristics of personal duty types. So this personal duty tab is is, uh, is, to, is, to, uh, is used to store a single file on local machine on a local machine. So the answer is B. Okay, great. Question number eight. Which type of duty tab is offers advanced capabilities such as versioning, replication, and multi-user editing? A personal duty database, B file duty database, C enterprise duty database, D special duty database. So it is a type of duty database which requires what? Which, re which requires which requires what? Uh, flexibility such as version, uh, version changing, uh, replication, multi user editing. This multi user editing allows enterprise duty database. Inter in enterprise duty types are those multi-user editing. So the answer is C. Number nine, what is the primary purpose of tables in a duty types? A, to store special data such as points, lines, and polygons. B, to provide visual representation of special features on a map. C, to store attribute data associated with special features. D, to perform special analysis and operations. So primary purpose of tables in a duty type is to uh, this uh, table of content contains co either coordinates with their attribute, their attribute or their distribution, their, uh, with their uh, description. So it is used to store attribute data associated with special features or special locations or coordinates, coordinate reference system. So the answer is C to store uh, data associated with special features. Question number 10 What is a special index in? A U database. What is special index in a U database? A, a table that stores information about special features. B, a data structure that enhances the retrieval of special data based on their location. C, a reference system used to define special properties of features. D, a tool for visualizing special relationship features. So this is a special index means a data structure that enhances the retrieval of the query of special data based on Zero location. Zero on zero location. Okay, great. Question number 11. What is a feature class in a UD database? A, a collection of related special features that share the same geometry type. B, a table that stores attribute data associated with special features. C, a file format for storing raster data. The structure that uh, organizes special features into layers. So, uh, feature class means feature class means a collection of related special features that share the same geometry, type, the same to geometry type. Okay, great. Uh, question number twelve. What is the primary? What is uh, the primary difference between feature class and feature data set? Feature class stores raster data, while feature class Dataset stores vector data. Feature class, feature dataset contains multiple feature classes, while feature class cannot. Feature class, feature datasets are used for storing attribute data, while feature classes are used for storing special data. Feature datasets are limited to one geometry, while feature classes can contain multiple geometry types. So the correct answer is feature dataset is overall contain multiple feature classes. It means Feature class, uh, feature data set is a subset of feature classes. While feature classes are not, so the answer is B. Okay, great. Question number thirteen: Area photographs use blank to con uh, contract the movement of the craft. A special camera 
hysteroscopy gyro stabilizers the digitizer so this gyro stabilizers are the movement of the aircraft is used to concrete the movement of the aircraft so this is a stabilizers which is called gyro stabilizers okay great Question number 14. One is not a type of aerial photograph based on their direction or position of camera axis, which is a panchromatic B vertical photographs, C oblique photographs, D focal links. So this is uh, a panchromatic. This is uh, talks about panchromatic images, which have uh, high resolution images, for example, in terms of Landsat, it is 15 meter resolution. So this is panchromatic is a type of resolution contains high resolution whereas the other one is the types of aerial photographs based on their uh, either their uh, direction or position of camera axis okay question number 15 what is the minimum location or point or points required to use of triangulation principle in triangulation principle the gps uses what a minimum of four satellites a minimum of four satellites uh, uh, so GPS determines the location of a thing or the number, location of a person or the location of a feature uh, based on the principle of triangulation. In order to be function a principle of triangulation, uh, it should contain at least four uh, satellites. Okay, great. It is four satellites. Okay, great. Not three. It is uh, four satellites. It is four satellites. Okay, great. Number 16. Uh, blank is a parcel based land information system. A land information system. B land administration. C cadaster. D uh, survey. So, uh, uh, this uh, cadaster is a parcel based land for information system. So the cadaster system is land uh, uh, parcel based. Question number 17. A unit of land with homogeneous tenure and interests having a unique owner or tenant land classes and is referred to as a cadaster B land information system C parcel D land management. This is called what? Parcel. It is a parcel homogeneous tenure interests. It is not a heterogeneous but homogeneous tenure system. Unique owner or tenant identified by unique ID and uh, class or land class. This is one parcel or it is called parcel. Question number uh, 18. Bank is a public up to date uh, land information system. List that efficiently supports public administration of real estate. A parcel B cadaster C land information system D serving. So this is uh, uh, a public up to date land information system. This is efficient support is public administration state. So this is uh, uh, also cadaster. This is also cadaster. Question number 19. The discipline of land serving that relates to the laws of land ownership and definition of property boundaries is uh, called. Uh, cadastral survey. It is cadastral survey. Okay, great. Question number 20. Which term refers to the amount of detail in a digital image? A file format, D pixel density, C metadata, D resolution. D resolution. So the amount of detail is based on what? Resolution. Based on resolution. High resolution, low resolution. High resolution means more detail on a small area. Low resolution means high uh, area with low uh, uh, resolution. Okay, with low detail. Question number 21. Which of the following is not a common application of multispectral satellite imagery? A land cover classification, B vegetation has monitoring, C meteorological forecasting, D urban development analysis, D annual uh, development analysis. So this is a meteorological forecasting is not a common application of multispectral satellite imagery. Okay, great. Question number 22. 
What is the main advantage of hyperspectral imaging over multispectral imaging? So this hyperspectral imaging, hyperspectral imaging uses hundreds of bands. Uh, this is uh, that is why we call it hyperspectral remote sensing or hyperspectral imaging. So a higher spatial resolution, C captures a wide range of wavelengths, C low cost, D limited data storage requirements. So the answer is captures images with a wide range of wavelengths. As I told you, it has over hundreds of uh, bands, which is a wide range of uh, wavelengths, ability of wide range of wavelengths. So uh, it captures a wide range of uh, wavelengths. This is the advantage. The advantages over multispectral uh, uh, imaging. Question number uh, 23. What is the primary advantage of digital image processing? Higher cost compared to traditional methods, faster processing speed, lower quality of images produced, limited applications in various fields. So faster processing speeds are the primary advantage. The other one is uh, uh, the disadvantage. Uh, question number 24. What is uh, the primary goal of image enhancement to decrease the visual appeal of images? No, to complicate the interpretation of images. No, to make images more useful and visually appealing. D to add noise to images. So this is uh, the answer is to make images more useful and visually appealing. Visually appealing. That is why we call it image enhancement image enhancement or image in improvement for visually improvement okay great question number uh, 25 which process correct the sensor errors atmospheric effect is in remote sensing images a geometric correction b radiometric correction c needs reduction d and image enhancement so radiometric correction is the sensor errors and atmospheric effects in your most easy. Okay, great. Uh, question number 26. What is the primary purpose of land ratio, land ratio in your most easy? Band ratio in your most easy. A. To enhance spatial resolution of the image. B. To reduce noise in the image. C. To highlight specific features by dividing the pixel value of one band by another. D. To convert the image uh, grayscales. So this is to highlight specific features. Uh, dividing the pixel values of one by, by or another band that is why we call it image ratio. Image ratio. Okay, great. Uh, question number 27 Which vegetation index is specifically designed to minimize the influence of soil background reflectance? A. NDBI, B. EBI, C. Savi, D. Uh, green NDBI. So uh, this is. Uh, 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 soil adjusted vegetation index. So this is SAVI or soil adjusted vegetation index helps to mini, uh, minimize the influence of soil background in reflectances. Soil background in reflectances. Okay, great. Uh, the last question of this part is uh, what is the primary goal of digital image analysis? The primary goal of digital image analysis to comp compress image files for storage to enhance the overall appearance of images to extract meaningful information from images to convert images from one format to another format. So the goal, you know, the primary goal of digital image analysis is to extract meaningful information from what? A remote sensing image. So uh, if you get a meaningful information from a remote sensing images, then we are going to apply this uh, extracted information, this extracted information. So this is, part, uh, this is the end of part one. We will uh, uh, continue in part two. Thank you for watching.